Here's a question that illustrates the use of the gamma distribution. It'll be solved in two different ways and the first solution is on this slide and the second solution is on the next slide. Arrival times are well modeled by a Poisson process with a rate of 30 customers per hour. Find the probability that eight or more customers arrive in a 10 minute interval. Well, at this point, because you have two different units, hours and minutes, you have to decide between the two. So let's go with minutes. Use minutes as the time scale. When that's the case, lambda will be equal to, instead of 30 customers per hour, it will be 30 sixtieths of a customer or one half customer per minute will be the arrival rate. The arrival time of the eighth customer has the Erlang distribution and that Erlang distribution will have a lambda equals one half and a parameter k of eight and that will be the Erlang distribution with parameters lambda equals one half and eight and that's exactly what you have right here. This is the probability density function of an Erlang random variable with parameters 1, half, and 8, and that represents the arrival time of the eighth customer. Now we're interested in the probability that eight or more customers arrive in a 10 minute interval. That's the same as saying that eighth customer arrives sometime between before times 10 and that is this shaded area. So if we had this shaded area, that would be the answer. So as usual, we let lambda times t be the rate, one half customer per minute, times the number of minutes, and that will be 10. And so our rate over the interval, namely the 10 minute interval, will be five customers during that interval. And then what we do is we try to find the probability that the random variable x, which is the arrival time of the eighth customer, is less than or equal to 10. That is this area and that's what we're going after. So you'll notice with the x less than or equal to something that reminds you of the CDF. So really what we want is the CDF of a gamma random variable evaluated at 10. If you go back a couple of slides for the Erlang distribution, you will notice that this is written in the following fashion. 1 minus the sum from y equals 0 up to 7, in this case, of 5, and this 5, of course, is the lambda t, raised to the y, e to the minus 5, divided by y factorial. When you work that out, that turns out to be approximately 0.1334 and that 0.1334 is this area right here. If you want to calculate this in R, you can do it with the P gamma function and the arguments to the P gamma function in this case, of course, will be first of all 10, which is what you want the probability of being less than and then you will have a parameter 8 and a parameter 1 half and that's what the call looks like. Notice that the uh, the uh, 1 half and the 8 the order of the two parameters is switched here in R. Well that's the first solution to the problem. Here is the second solution to the problem and this one has a little more of a Poisson process feel to it. In this case as before you let lambda over the 10 minute interval be your 30 customers per hour multiplied by 1 sixth of an hour and that will give you as before five customer arrivals during a 10 minute interval. So the next thing we do is we set up a random variable and I will call this random variable y to differentiate it from what we had before. y will be the number 
of customer arrivals during a 10 minute interval. We know that Y will have the Poisson distribution with the parameter 5 that we calculated above and because of that its distribution will be given by its probability mass function F sub Y of Y which is 5 to the Y e to the minus 5 divided by y factorial for y equals 0, 1, 2, etc. Finally, we want the probability of 8 or more customers in that 10 minute interval. So we want the probability y is greater than or equal to 8. And so that will be the sum from y equals 8 to infinity of f sub y of y. But as is always the case, uh, summations going from 8 to infinity are difficult to calculate. So you can say this is 1 minus the sum from y equals 7. Whoops, from y equals 0 up to 7 of f sub y of y and f sub y of y of course is 5 to the y e to the minus 5 divided by y factorial and you could calculate this with a hand calculator but there are eight terms here so it'll be a little bit easier of course in R this turns out to be 1.1334 and the way you would calculate this quantity right here in R is with the command 1 minus Pipois, and the two parameters will be 7, which is the, uh, the upper limit here, and the lambda parameter, which is 5, and that will give you the 0 0.1334.